Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is uh, it's nine o'clock on a Sunday, which means it's time for a review show special. This is where I take a deep dive into a particular subject, a particular creator, a particular trick, and I highlight why it's so good or why it's not so good. Um, and today I'm going to do a request. I've had a few people ask me to review the Suit Jacket Escape. Which is kind of really interesting because I reviewed the Suit Jacket Escape before when it first came out. And I was working with David Penn on the Wizard Product Review, as it was known back then. And myself and David, we reviewed the uh, the Suit Jacket Escape probably, I don't know, it must be about 12 years ago now. Um, however, over the last six months to a year, I've had a lot of people say to me, hey, can you uh, can you give me some advice on what the best tricks are to perform if I want to start getting into stage and I want to start doing comedy magic? Uh, what's the best trick that you think I should do? What's that? What so on and so forth? And a lot of the time, I reply by saying, "Get the suit jacket escape." And a lot of people have said to me, "Well, I don't know what the suit jacket escape is. What is it?" And I kind of point out where you can buy it from. But people have been asking for a review. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, you're going to see a couple of live performances as well. Uh, I, I should tell you that I've been doing the Suit Jacket Escape for probably, well, ever since I reviewed it, what, 12 years ago or something like that. And I've done it in every environment you can imagine. I've done it in parlor shows. I've done it in cabaret shows. I've done it in illusion shows. It, it, for many, many years, it became my signature piece. And more recently, Ryland, who loves... Uh, Ryland, if anyone's seen Ryland perform, you know he does a lot of magic to music. But he's wanting to learn more comedy routines. He wants to learn more routines that are designed for comedy magic. And I suggested to him learning the Suit Jacket Escape. And one of the performances you're going to see is of Ryland doing the Suit Jacket Escape. I think it's really important to see a couple of different performers doing it. So you're going to see those performances in a minute. Uh, but first of all, let's talk about what the Suit Jacket Escape is. So the Suit Jacket Escape was uh, and is marketed by Bill Abbott uh, Presents. But it's actually created by Anthony Linden. Now, if you don't know who Anthony Linden is, uh, I did an interview with him during lockdown. Uh, he is a very clever Toronto-based magician who uh, does kids shows, but also performs at very high-end corporate shows. And he developed the, uh, the Suit Jacket Escape to do in his shows. Now, um, the reason I gravitated towards the, uh, to the Suit Jacket Escape initially is because it is a very practical routine. It plays really big, but it packs really small. As long as you have a set of handcuffs with you, and you have the curtain of death, you're able to do it pretty much anywhere you've got space to put this curtain down on the floor. So it becomes a very practical routine that you can do pretty much any time, any place, anywhere. Um, and it, it's a solid 10 minute routine that's very, very funny. If you don't know what the premise of the routine is, uh, the whole idea is that you come out and you say to the audience, you've probably heard of Harry Houdini. He's the greatest escapologist of all time. He could escape from any restraints. Um, uh, I'm not in peak physical condition like, ha uh, like uh, um, Harry Houdini was. Uh, and so I'm going to escape not from a straight jacket, but from my own suit jacket. And then you proceed to escape from your own suit jacket. And there's lots of different phases. Your hands start off handcuffed behind you and then they get handcuffed in front of you. And as I say, I've done this for years. I do it in almost every gig. It's the perfect routine to do in an illusion show because, you know, when you're doing an illusion show, people have booked a bigger show, but you can't just do non-stop illusions for 45 minutes. There's not a van in the world that's big enough unless your hands clock. So you have to fill illusion shows you have to have like a certain amount of illusions but then you have to have front of cloth material that will play bigger and what i mean by front of cloth material is smaller routines so when the curtains close and you're resetting for the next set piece with an illusion you can do something in front of the cloth so to speak in front of the curtains hence front of cloth that will play big the suit jacket escape plays big it does not look out of place in an illusion show especially when you're talking about escapology um so uh but but uh, you know it's great in a cabaret show as well it's great in any environment and and the key thing about it is it's 
very, very funny. You know, I get a lot of questions all the time saying, how do you become a comedy magician? What do I have to do in order to become a comedy magician? Well, a lot of the time, all you need to do is have routines which are inherently funny. And this routine is inherently funny. The premise of escaping from your own suit jacket is a funny routine anyway. It's a funny premise. But then you put into, uh, into it the structure of the routine and it becomes gold. Now, I'm going to show you a performance of me doing it. This is from many, many years ago when I was a lot thinner and had a lot more hair. Um, but it's the best performance footage I've got of it. So I'm going to show you this, um, this performance footage so you can see the suit jacket escape done. Again, I'm going to show you Ryland's performance in a bit. I think, to be honest, he actually does it better than me. Um, uh, but but let's have a look at my performance first of all. So this is exactly what the suit jacket escape is. Another classic of magic. You might have heard of somebody called Harry Houdini. You heard of Harry Houdini? Yeah. yeah, he's dead now, but he was known as the King of Cuffs. He was the greatest escapologist of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, he was in peak physical condition. He could dislocate his shoulder, his elbow. He could escape from any restraint. He was amazing. Now, guys, I'm going to try and replicate something of his. I'm not in peak physical condition. I can't dislocate my elbow or my shoulder. I can't escape from a straight jacket, but tonight, Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment pleasure, I'm going to escape from my own suit jacket. No, no, you don't understand. I'm going to escape from my own suit jacket. Wow! Yeah, thanks for that. Now, it doesn't sound too impressive. Thank you, Anna. It doesn't sound too impressive. It becomes more impressive when you realize that I'm going to do it with my hands handcuffed or shackled behind my back. Russell has a set of handcuffs. He's going to handcuff me. Then I need two people to come up and help me. I need two people who have got some experience with handcuffs. Maybe they've been in them. Maybe they've used them. Maybe they've got them in their bedside table. I don't know. Also, I don't need to know. But I need two people to come up and help me that have got some experience with handcuffs. Can I have some music, please? Anna, Russell, go and get me two volunteers. Those who look like they might have had some experience with handcuffs. You, sir, you can help. What's your name? Your name? you got a bad leg, have you? Has he got a bad leg? He has. Okay, we'll take you instead. What's your name, sir? You don't do things like that. Okay, let's see if we can find. You're pointing at this and maybe not. I know, I know, I know. But you can help me, sir. Can you not? Yes. And you can join him as well, because you look so smug. There you go. Fantastic. Coming up for me, gentlemen, that'd be wonderful. Can you stand that side of me, please, sir? Wonderful. And uh, if you could stand right side for me, that's fantastic. And what's your name, sir? This is Jeff, everybody. Hey. And where are you from, Jeff? Jeff's from Henley and Arden. Apparently not many other people are, but there you go. And what's your name, sir? This is Mark, everybody! You're less popular than Jeff. Where are you from, Mark? From He's from Hatton! Yeah, okay, fair enough. Let me ask you a question. Bearing in mind you're from Henley and Arden, have you had any experience with handcuffs? Plenty, I thought so. Look, in your expert opinion, have a look at these and check them out and make sure they're all solid, make sure everything's okay, yeah? Is that good? Fantastic. Better than yours. You can borrow them afterwards. And have you had any experience with handcuffs, sir? None whatsoever, okay. He doesn't seem to believe you there. Look, have a look at these, check them out, make sure they're all good. Is everything okay? That's fantastic. Can you stand that side for me, sir? And if you can stand that side, that'd be wonderful. Now, uh, on the floor here, we have something called a curtain of death. Two white pieces of rope there and there. In a minute, you're going to grab the white rope and lift the curtain up. And whilst inside the curtain, I'm going to escape from my own suit jacket. What was your name again, sir? Mark. Before I do this, Mark, stick out your first finger, your pointing finger. Stick it out in front of you. Very good. Put it on the centre of my glasses and push upwards. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks. <laughs> Lovely. We're good. <clears throat> now, grab the rope for me if you can, guys. That's very good. And lift it up, 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 up. Lift it up. Very good. Oh, you're all tangled up. There we go. Wow, what are you doing? No, there's a, there's a, it's called a piece of rope, sir. It's right there. That's what you hold. That's wonderful. Fantastic. There we go. I know we get there. So it was uh, to about waist height, guys. I'm not Simon Cowell. That's a little bit higher. Wonderful. A little bit lower still. That's more nipple height. Wonderful. And so it's Mark and Jeff. Is that right? Jeff, Mark. Wonderful. Guys, it, there's two instructions to follow. The first instruction is raise the curtain of death. Now, when I say that, bring your hands high up in the air so the audience can't see me because sneaky stuff is happening behind this curtain. You know what I'm talking about, right, Jeff? Good. Raise the curtain of death. Take your time. There you go. But you're sagging in the middle there, Jeff. Take one step backwards. Wonderful. Oh, no, it's just that he's a bit shorter than you. It's okay, don't worry about it. Now, the second instruction is lower the curtain of death. When I say that, drop your hands to your sides, but continue to hold on to the curtain. Lower the curtain of death. Wonderful. The final instruction is, ah, let go of the rope. If that's happened, something gone wrong, I need you to let go immediately. Do you understand? Fantastic. Let me ask you a question. Jeff, are you ready? Come on, Jeff, if you get excited, everyone else will get excited. Jeff, are you ready? I'm ready. 
And also a little bit scary. <laughs> Mark, are you ready? Come on, Mark. I am ready. You're ready. You're ready. I can tell. Mark was born ready. Guys, are you ready? I'm going to escape from my own suit jacket, my hands cuffed behind my back. Behind my back, with my own suit jacket, raise the curtain of death all the way up in the air for me, please, guys. I'm going to do this in record time. Oh, I'm forgetting one thing. Lower the curtain. Sorry, I forgot one thing. I'm very sorry. I forgot one thing. We've got to warm up. Now, I've been told by Sue and Rick. I've been told by Sue and Rick, if I bring... If I bring anybody up to come up and help me and I don't warm them up, I'm going to be in trouble. So just, load, just drop it for a minute. We've got to warm up. Guys, what I want you to do is face that way, face that way, put your hands out like this, and just copy what I do. Every move I make, OK? Here we go. Peace out. <laughs> into that just a little bit too much, didn't you? <laughs> okay, right, we're warmed up, we're ready, I'm gonna do this. Guys, grab the rope, here we go. Watch this. Escaping from my own suit jacket. Raise the curtain of death. All the way up in the air, guys, all the way up in the air. I'm gonna do this in record time, and everyone's gonna go nuts, and I'm gonna win this stupid competition, and you're gonna realize how important it, right, I've got it. Guys, I wanna give you an update, lower the curtain. Halfway. <laughs> Come on, everybody, halfway. Yay! What do you think of it so far? Fantastic. Fantastic. This is a man that knows talent. I wish you could talk to Simon Cowell. He hated it. What's your name? Well, I know your name. What did you think? I'm going confused. What did you think of it? Rubbish. 15 years of practice, no social life, sitting in my bedroom practicing this stuff, and you just sum it up by rubbish. Thank you. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. No, it's fine. He liked it. I don't really care what you think. Right, okay, here we go. I'm gonna go the rest of the way. And then you'll love it. I'm gonna get out the rest of the way, here we go. Raise the curtain of death. All the way up in the air, guys, all the way up in the air. I'm gonna do this in record time. Now, earlier on, I talked to you about Harry Houdini, and I told you he dislocates his shoulder. Do you remember that? Yeah. I can't do that, I'm dislocating something else. <laughs> yeah, that's not meant to happen. Uh, we've got a problem, don't worry, this is, this is what's meant to happen. Oh, oh guys, I've got a problem, lower it for a sec. Um, <laughs> No, this isn't the bit where you clap, love, <laughs> just so you know. Um, <laughs> still rubbish, innit? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Right, look, no, I can do this. I can do this, I can do this. They're gonna go mad. I'm gonna do it right, I can do this. <sighs> you believe me, don't you? Good, right, here we go. <sighs> Better get a big round of applause after this, right? Not yet, I haven't done anything yet. Right, here we go. Raise the curtain of death all the way up in the air. Please, all the way up in the air. One move is all it did. No, drop it on the floor. Let go. <laughs> also, not the bit where you clap. And also, not appreciated having a camera pointed at me at the moment, love, to be perfectly honest. But actually, more to the point, what are you going to do with the picture right, of, of me like this? <laughs> Look, YouTube, yeah. Look, right now, there's some people in the audience that might think these are tricky handcuffs. Just tell them that they're okay. Oh. <laughs> Do me a favor, grab the lock. Grab the lock, that's the lock. Yes, very good, with an L. Is that okay? Good, how's it looking back there? Nice, uh, <laughs> Very nice. You better believe it, buddy. <laughs> it was Mark, right? Jeff, you're Jeff. I'm getting confused. Jeff, finger. Finger. Glasses. Where are you from? Brighton? Finger. Glad you knew what I was talking about. That could have been very weird. Right, okay. <laughs> I love my job. Right, okay. Guys, I want you to grab the rope. We're going to try this one more time. And if we manage to get out of this, it's going to give you both a big round of applause. One more time. Raise the curtain of death all the way up in the air. I'm going to do it in three seconds. Three, two, one, give him a big massive round of applause to Mark and Jeff. Come on, guys, go nuts. Now, don't think you can just watch that performance and and and, and just replicate the routine. Uh, when you buy the suit jacket escape, it comes with so much material to help you learn it. First of all, the tutorial, 
is amazing. Anthony goes through everything with a fine tooth comb. You even get like a little poster that shows you step by step the sequence that you need to go through. Now, I should say that my performance is my performance is very is slightly different to how Anthony does it. I've taken a couple of sections out. I've added a couple of sections. Obviously, I wear glasses, so I've included the glasses into the comedy. Um, but uh that's the basic premise now when you buy the suit jacket escape you're going to have two different options the first option is you buy just the just the sort of the instructions and then you have to source the props that you need to do it and the props that you need to do it are a set of quick release handcuffs that are good and a curtain of death and it tells you how to make the curtain of death it tells you exactly what you need to do to make the curtain of death um, but it needs to be a very specific curtain. If you went to a uh, seamstress or somebody who deals with fabric and gave them the plans, they'd be able to do it, no problem. Um, so, yeah, so so that that's, that's basically... Uh, when I bought the Suit Jacket Escape, I bought all of the props with it. So I bought the Suit Jacket Escape, but I also bought the Curtain of Death and I bought the, uh, the electronic release handcuffs. Um... And I'm so glad I did. That that curtain that you saw there is the same curtain that Ryland uses now. I've had it for about probably, what, 12, 13 years. And it's just as good now as it was back in the day. Uh, it's brilliant. And I, I, I just know that if I've got a 10-minute spot and I want to bring the house down, doing the suit jacket escape is going to allow me to bring the house down and then some. Um, so you've seen the performance of me doing it. We'll show you a performance of Ryland doing it now. So this is from Ryland's show at the House of Secrets on um, Monday after the Blackpool Magic Convention. This is his very first performance of the Suit Jacket Escape. One thing that always amazes me about Ryland is he doesn't mind trying new new routines out in his act. He's constantly developing new uh, routines, new set pieces, because he's trying to find his way, and Matt is trying to find those routines that are perfect, and he'll put stuff into his act that won't stay there, and it'll come out, and it'll go back in, and it'll come out. There's routines that he'll he'll do that stay there forever. So you know, flying linking rings is one that he's going to do forever. Uh, Venom cube is one that he's going to do forever. You know, there's certain routines that you just know Ryland's going to be performing his whole life. Uh, but then there's other routines that. Uh, you know, they go in for a little while and then they come out. Um, when Rylan, Rylan put a lot of effort into learning this suit jacket escape, the handcuffs that he's using, the quick release handcuffs are from Danny Hunt. Um, and right, th th one of the reasons Rylan wanted to learn this routine is because A, Rylan wants to learn to be a comedy magician as well as the other stuff that he does. But B, he's very interested in escapology um, to the point that he got some advice from Matt Johnson about escapology. And Matt said, you need to train your lungs. So it's so embarrassing. I take him to a, uh, a swimming pool and most kids are swimming around. He's just sitting at the bottom of the pool holding his breath uh, and then comes up almost blue going, <gasps> how was that? What was the time on that? Like he's, he's, he's actually really interested in escapology. And I said, if you're interested in escapology, the first step is do, doing something like this because it, it is escapology, but it's kind of more of a jokey thing. So it's going to allow you to learn how to be a comedy magician whilst at the same time putting an element of escapology into your act. Um, so let's have a look at a performance of Ryan doing this. Like I say, this is the very first time he performed it, um, but I think he did an incredible job. And afterwards I said to him, dude, that needs to stay in your act because that was hilarious. And then the timing that you had with it and the timing you had with the lines and the interaction with the people that you had up on stage and the interact and interaction you had with the audience, it brought the house down. A lot of people were saying this was the, tr uh, you know, the trick of the show that night. Uh, and that was him, with him doing all of his normal stuff as well. So let's have a look at it. This is Ryland's performance of the suit jacket. I'm going to try to do some escapology. Has anyone ever heard of Harry Houdini? Yeah. Yeah. Right, I mean, you should have. I'm in a room full of magicians. Um, right, uh, well, Harry Houdini, he was one of the most famous um, escapologists in the whole world. He, he like, once had, like, 19 handcuffs going all the way up his wrists, and he was able to escape from them in seconds. Sometimes his escape took seconds, sometimes they took hours. Um, he could dislocate his shoulder and his legs, which helped him escape things like straight jackets, like when you've got your arms wrapped up like this and you can't move. He was able to like use dislocating his shoulder as an advantage uh, to getting out of them. Obviously, I can't dislocate my shoulder and I don't have a straight jacket. 
Just remember I am 11. Um, so I'm going to try and do something else. Uh, I'm going to escape from my own jacket. Okay, um, look, I've got the jacket here. Here's the jacket. Uh, it's a green one. It's the first one I can find in the shops. Uh, so I'm going to put that on. Now I'm going to need two people to uh, help me because they're going to help me put uh, these uh, the shackles on. So uh, uh, we'll go. I'll uh, do it. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, um, uh, Gary and William. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So Gary, if you stand there, William, you stand there. You're gonna help me get into the shackles. So I've got the shackles, and I also have two pairs of padlocks in here. Okay, so padlocks. I want to uh, examine that lock, but make sure you don't lock it because I left the keys at home. <laughs> okay, so we've got them, and then we've got the actual shackles. So, uh, uh, William, you're going to help me with this first part, and then you're going to work together on the second part. Of course. Okay, so you'll notice that there's uh, five holes in the chain. Uh, I'm going to put this one in the third <laughs> hole, okay? okay? So, third hole. I want you to hold the padlock yep. like that. Okay, I'll move that. I'll put my hand in, and you're also going to go in the third hole, which is that one. So it's really tight, yeah? Yep. Really tight, and then you're going to push that in. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. Uh, so the third hole, yeah. Yeah, third hole. Uh, that one. And that will be... Yeah, that. and then third hole, which is this one, here. If you get the padlock around there. Yeah. So that one, yeah, okay. And then push it in. Yep. Right, now that's locked. Yes, that's very yes. tight, yeah? Yes, it is. Very tight, okay? So, and then uh, we got the second padlock, and you're going to work together to put this both on the third holes behind my back, okay? So I'll put it in the third hole on this side, okay? I'll put it in the third hole, okay? And you can do it behind my back, so I can't see, okay? And I want you to put my hand in, through the chains and through the third hole, okay? And then once it's through the third hole, I want you to, um, I want you to push it in, yeah? Yep. Okay, is that locked? Yeah. Yes. That's locked, but very tight, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, very tight. Okay, now I'm not really going to be able to get out of this, am I? No, it's locked. It's, like, it's locked, yeah. You can tell it's locked, yeah. Um, uh, so I want you to check it from that side. It's locked, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and then Gary, you can check it from that side. Yeah. And I will show the audience I really am uh, locked in. Okay? Now, um, I want you to, I want you both to grab a piece of rope on the floor in yep. each hand. Okay? Yep. And then we just slowly lift it up to about waist height. This is what I call the curtain of death. And I put it here at the very beginning of this show. It's going to help me escape from the shackles. Um, right, okay, so there's three things that you've got to remember. The first instruction is um, raise the ropes. When I say raise the, raise the ropes, uh, raise it to about head height, okay? okay so that's head or arm head? My head. Okay? Right, and then the next one. And the, and the next one. Uh, so we'll give that a practice. Uh, raise, the, raise the cuff. Okay, perfect. And uh, the next one is lower it. And when you lower it back down to waist height. So we'll practice that. Lower it. Okay, perfect. And uh, make sure there's no slack in that to pull it hard. Uh, yeah? Okay? Right, uh, now uh, in about waist height. That's about nipple height. Uh, about waist height. Down. <laughs> down okay? So. Uh, you can see I really am shackled in still. And the last one is um, drop the ropes. When I say drop the ropes, uh, I'll probably say it in a pain like I'm really hurt. That's probably because something's gone wrong and you need to drop the ropes on the floor, okay? okay. That's one of the most important instructions. Okay, right, you ready? Raise the curtain. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, no the curtain, no the curtain. I forgot to tell you, when we do that, <laughs> what is magic? When we do this, <laughs> I meant to say, uh, raise it above my head, okay? Okay. Raise it above my head. Okay. Alright. Raise the rope. Oh. <coughs> well, I said rope, I meant the curtain. Um, right, I meant, uh, this is locked. Right, lower the rope. I'll show you where I am so far. So far, halfway on, <coughs> halfway up. How's it look? Okay, right. Um, raise the curtain. Okay, right. Um, now, earlier on, I talked about um, Harry Houdini being able to, using the fact that he could dislocate his shoulder as an uh, advantage to getting out a straitjacket. 
Now, obviously, I can't dislocate my shoulder to help me get out of my jacket. I am. Um, I'm dislocating something else. Uh, right. This is. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Ow. Wait. I think. Ow. It hurts. Um. Right. Ah. Right. I'm nearly there. This is a lot. Way harder than I thought it was. Okay. Um. Wait. 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 What's? What am I just doing? Look. Look the ropes. I think something's kind of gone wrong. Uh. <laughs> I'm sure I can get out of this. Um, raise the ropes. All right, okay, right, if, if I do that, wait, ow, 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 drop the ropes, drop the ropes, ow, 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 ow. Um, I'm still shackled in though. Look. Is it right that side? I don't want to be arrested. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'll tell you what, I think I can get out of this if you uh, raise the ropes. Um, <laughs> right, raise the ropes and I'm sure I can get out of this one. Uh, right, here we go. Wait, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there. Right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Drop the ropes. There you go, so there's two different performances and you can see that they're effectively the same thing but you can see that they're being delivered differently and, and that's the nice thing about comedy magic, you know, you take a routine and you make it your own um, over time. Uh, what I would say is if you are looking to put a, right, so if you're looking to put a stage show together or you're looking to perform on stage, the suit jacket escape is great. You can put all the props into a little case, into a doctor's bag or a briefcase or something like that. And you can literally carry that into a venue and you've got a 10 minute spot that you can do. That's a great opener. It's a great closer. It's a great routine to do in the middle. It's just wonderful. So uh, if you're looking to maybe transition into stage magic and you're a close-up magician, this is great. It's also a fantastic routine to perform if you do kid shows for older kids, you're looking for a routine to do for older kids, this is a very funny routine that will work as well for older kids um, as it will do for family audiences. Yeah, it's really a family. It's one of those routines that work. I did it for in holiday parks for years. It works for a, a family audience. It works for older kids, not, not necessarily younger kids, but older kids, sort of eight, nine plus it works for. It also works for adults, for corporate, for weddings, you name it. It's a really great routine that will work in most environments. Um, but also, if you're wanting to learn how to do comedy magic, if you're wanting to be a comedy magician and you want to learn how to put a show together that's really funny, this is a no-brainer because inherently the trick is really funny and it allows you to focus on delivering it and on the presentation. Um, many, many years ago when I reviewed this with David Penn on the Wizard Product Review, I gave it 100%. And, you know, this is probably the trick that throughout my career I have performed more than many other any other routine. It's probably this or Superfly by uh, Scott Alexander. And I'd say it's probably this because I've been doing this a lot longer, um, which is why I'm going to give it 150 percent. You know, I've made a living out of doing this. I've literally traveled the world doing this act. And it's really cool to see that now my son is doing it as well and loves it just as much as I do. Uh, I can't give it a higher recommendation. I asked Ryland to give it a review for me as well. I asked him what percentage he would give it, and he said he would give it 75 bazillion million quadrillion to the power of Zelda plus 50 million Minecraft Cluely points. So take that for what it's worth. I think that means it's really good. Uh, but I would give it, uh, you know, it's it's amazing. It really is. It packs small. It plays big. It's the perfect routine. Uh, and if you're looking for a routine, that you can put into your stage act immediately, that with a bit of practice, you'll be able to perform. It's great. Whether you go and get the props made up yourself or you go and buy everything directly, you know, it makes no difference. It's a perfect routine. You can get this. The only place to get this is from Bill Abbott. So Bill Abbott's website will sell these. Um, and as I say, you can get the props or not get the props, but you go to Bill Abbott to get them. That's really the only place that you can get it. But if you want to put a really cool routine into your act, the suit jacket escape is absolutely the trick that you want to learn. So there you go, guys. That's another review show special in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree with me? Is the suit jacket escape an amazing routine? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. 
Uh, don't forget to join the Netrix, www.thenetrix.com. Go see what all the fuss is about. All of Wayne's routines, Wayne Goodman's routine, have just been uploaded, and they are amazing. They're available to access right now. And we have a masterclass tonight at 9 o'clock. So when you're watching this, me and the rest of the guys in the silver level of the Netrix are having a masterclass lecture by the one and only Jake Keane very exciting guys i will see you again soon thank you so much for watching if you haven't already done so go check out the q a that went up at 12 o'clock today i'll see you again soon my name's craig from magic tv